an angler. Just got back from a uh, February bass fishing session. It's probably the shortest one I've done for a long time as uh, it was absolutely freezing and uh, the wind was uh, blowing a hoolie from the wrong direction. I did manage to winkle one out so I'll add that to the end of this uh, video. It was quite a nice rass for this time of year and it's a February rass so it's always good to uh, catch in any month of the year. Um, the reason I'm sitting here is because I'm almost at 300 subscribers and I, to my surprise I will have done um, 30 videos if I include this one. So yeah as I said I'm nearly at uh, 300 subscribers and uh, this will be my 30th video. I'm really surprised I managed to do that many um, and it's thanks to your support. It's not always easy to find content to put in these videos. Uh, I don't want my channel to be just about rass fishing. It will be um, BFS shortly again and I will do doing comparisons between three BF, BFS reels cheap reels because I'm just getting into it. Uh, well what this is really about is I, I've been thinking for a while now I should do a giveaway and I thought if you're watching my channel at the moment there's a lot of rass fishing on it and if you were thinking of getting into the lure fishing for rass then it would be nice to get a box full of all my favorite rass lures. Uh, I'll show this in detail in a moment but yeah, I filled this box full of all those lures you see, I've seen me talk about or catch grass on. They are all lures I am confident in, and they do catch grass. They're not just pretty things that catch the angler. So you could go with this box of lures and be confident that they work, which is a big thing when you start grass fishing. Uh, I myself went quite a few trips without actually catching anything. Whilst I was learning, I'm a bit stubborn and I wanted to learn myself. And gradually over time, I've uh, come across different lures that work better than others in certain situations. So that will be the giveaway. Uh, what I will require you to do to get this is to go to my Facebook page, like the page, share the page with your friends, and comment whatever you would like to comment. It would be really nice not obliged to do this to um, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel as well the constant anger um, it's you guys that have kept me going it's something I've discovered I enjoy doing and the feedback I get from you guys um, really gives me a buzz uh, so far I've not really had a lot of negative feedback it's all been positive so thanks again for that um, I'm quite open to answer any questions you want through the comment section in the in YouTube or on my uh, channel. Um, just just far away. Uh, the idea of my channel was to just show people what I do. I'm not claiming to be an expert, um, but I go and I catch a few fish and I have lots of ideas and I magpie ideas from everybody else. I think it's a pretty common thing for people to do, especially with YouTube these days. You can learn things quite quickly, and that was all I really wanted to do with it. It was a, a new project, something to keep me buzzing, and you certainly have done that for me. So whilst I'm sat here, um, I'd like to say thank you and show my appreciation to a few other people. If you notice uh, the hoodie that I have on, it's a Len emblem. I may get some of these myself. Um, and it's Lure Fishing for Rash UK. Uh, my good friend Mike has his own YouTube channel and uh, has led me to be an administrator on his Facebook channel of the same name. Um, it's a great channel, it's a great page. You can learn a lot about grass fishing from like-minded anglers. Uh, yeah, it, it's great, I love it. It's what got me into it. I will be collaborating with Mike and doing videos on his channel uh, all about grass fishing. So uh, look out for those, subscribe to his channel, Lure Fishing for Rass UK. Uh, there's a lov lovely channel uh, by the Budget Angler. I think uh, Andrew, the chap's called. Um, he's a lovely guy, he's, he's given me some, some inspiration with my own channel and said some nice things about it. Uh, and as it said, it's a budget, budget angler. Uh, he's doing things on the cheap, but it proves you can do that and you can catch fish. Uh, so he also has a Facebook page, I think of the same name, the Budget Angler. Uh, another channel that I've uh, some nice things said to me 
uh, he even gave me a shout out for my own channel, uh, was Surface Pike Hunter. Uh, another great channel if you're into your pike fishing. And as it says, it's surface pike pike hunting. Uh, I don't think it's just that. It is, you know, catching them on other lures as well. And it's a relatively new channel. So look up at surface pike hunting. He has his own Facebook uh, page and Twitter page, I, I believe, as well. So give him your support, show support. This is why we do these things. It's getting the feedback from you guys. And um, yeah, it's all about the support we get from yourselves and each other. And I just like one other channel. There's lots of channels I could mention, but uh, is uh, Black Country Piker. Great channel. Been around for two or three years now, I think. I, mean, I could be wrong there. But um, he's up north. He's pike fishing in the canals and the ponds. And he catches lots of pike. Uh, I love the bits he's doing on jig fly fishing at the minute. Um, yeah, great guy. Great channel. Really give me some inspiration. Oh, one I really mustn't forget is uh, the Devon Lurfer. It's a wonderful channel if you're into your LRF. I don't do a lot of that, but um, it looks a good thing. And uh, it's a good channel. We've been going for two or three years, a bit like Black Country Piker. And if you were thinking of getting into LRF, that's the way I direct you. Uh, lovely chat. Said some nice things about my own. So there's four or five channels that I watch myself and I support. There are lots, lots more, but um, anyway, if I haven't bored you enough already, don't forget to like my Facebook page, share my Facebook page, and comment. And then I will do a nice fair draw, and we'll see who wins, and then you'll have to PM me your details so I can put this in the post for you. Uh, hang in there, because there's a very short clip at the end of me catching a February ras. So thanks again for your support. It's appreciated. The constant. So I filled a box full of uh, my favourite wrestlers. There's a variety of lures here. There's my favourite stick baits, favourite Senkos, famous pink Senkos, Meredith Cross, Dyra Duck Fin Shads, AGM Paddlers, Meredith Grubs, uh, Beaver Baits by Molex, Berkeley Havoc Cross. I put a little mix of everything in there, but the thing is, all these baits catch wrasses. If you're not catching on these baits, the wrasses aren't either biting or they're not there. Um, but this should give you the confidence to have a go in the knowledge that they do catch. They're not just there to catch you, they actually catch fish. I, I found them, if I was sort of, say, casting 20 yards, they were, I was getting them halfway back in. I'm sure they're there. It's just the, the side wind tends to grab your weight, doesn't it? Come on, fish. Yeah. I'm keeping my rod tip down, just trying to stay in contact. What you'll see is, can you see that rock out there? Just inside where you are. No, you might find them back in the gully, I don't, I don't know. Was it going a damn seals? Oh, got one. Jesus. That was right below my feet. It didn't even feel like a brass that. Christ, it is a brass, isn't it? Did dump it, I just lifted it up and it was on. Yeah. Just 
light. Well, I didn't feel a weight, I just felt a pressure. I must have just lifted it into its mouth. You alright there, can you get it? February Rass. You see, that bends quite a lot, doesn't it? That's not bad size rats, actually. That's a bloody. That's a, what, three pound? Yeah, maybe. So, someone like that, Christ. Please with that. Well, no, I could weigh it to see, but we'll just pop them in the pool and. Blimey, that was a very strange, that was surreal, that was. Pulled a bit, I thought yeah. it was decent. Let's have a look there. This is the tricky bit, it's moving around here. This will beauty. Nice colours, isn't it? Yeah, that's a decent fish, isn't it? Yeah. That's, big, that's bigger than I thought it was. Oh. You can see I just literally just lifted into it, I think. Almost. Yeah, you. Let's take this off for a minute. And if you can just film me on yours as well. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm on at the moment. Because so. I mean, if we get getting out on the first cast, so it's not quite as big as I thought. You've got a big head on him, look. Can you get that hand the other way around? That's it, that's better. Yeah. Let's get some pictures on that group and whatnot, and it's all good, isn't it? Try down there and wake <laughs> Can you get that hand the other way around? That's it, that's better. Yeah. Done. Get some pictures on that group. Yeah. Oh. It's all good, isn't it? Hey, it's right down there. <laughs> <laughs> what was he on? It was on one of my stick baits. Turn this net inside out. One fish goes away. 